Hey guys, welcome back to Shiny Bright Doggo. I'm Laura. And I'm Janine. And today we're heading into my unique thrift in, I think, Levittown, Long Island, which is in New York. Um, we haven't been here in a while. We're really excited to go in and check out and see what they've got. Let's go. These are really fun Halloween tea lights. I've never seen something like this before. With some skulls. Only $1.50. I might pick them up. They're really cool. Guys, I think I just spotted something good peeping out. Those are good. Look how cute. Got some wear on the red paint, but they're marked Japan, which means they're from the mid-century. Yeah. Saw that. I didn't Broken, take a look at it though. Uh. Oh wow! Look at that. Made in Hong Kong. It's probably from the seventies. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Oh, I found this oh yeah, I had this as a kid. This is the one from uh, Anastasia. His ears would move. He's uh, not as cute in hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> I got some Halloween out. I like that turkey. This is a cute little uh, candle. It's pretty big. Dollar forty-nine. Trying not to pick up Halloween because it's you know we're already in October, and we don't need any more. We have so much. Maybe to resell if we find something really good. Look at this cute tablecloth. Poly, so it's plastic. Huh? Is it for Adler? Oh, those are cute. Let's see. $3.99, though. They're newer. They're probably yeah. from like the 90s. They're cute, though. I do like this tablecloth a lot. Yeah, is it? Is it? It's poly. It's like a really thin plastic. I also found these really cool satin balls, which are a little bit more common, but are becoming pretty popular. And I've never seen them in this like two-tone color way. They remind me of ribbon candy. They do look like ribbon candy. They're really cool. I'm gonna put that there so I can. Okay. Um, our colors today are orange, blue, and green. Twenty-five, fifty, and seventy-five percent off. I'm finding a lot of yellow, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> look at all this holiday that's out, guys. How exciting! Make sure we're not missing anything really good. There could be a vintage stocking hiding, but it doesn't look like it. These are older, but not too old. These are probably from like the 80s. I could tell just by the packaging and there's really not a patina on the caps. They're bigger caps, so these are definitely newer. This little Rudolph is really cute. Play by play. Made in China. He's probably from like the 90s. Made in China. But I thought he's really cute and his little face is really cute. Imagine finding like a Russian here. <laughs> that would be amazing. Reproduction. This is just like ceramic. It's not even vintage. I guess it held a bulb or something. Also found this plastic nativity that we talk about sometimes on the channel. This one's definitely different than the ones we normally see. It is made in Hong Kong. It's a lot bigger. I probably won't get it, but it's really cool to see. And it is uh, $6. Just spotted this bag of bubble lights. These aren't that old. They might be from even the 80s or the 90s. Um, Four dollars. Trying to see if there's any markings on sometimes the end of the uh, bulbs will be marked. So I'm going to take a closer look. Oh, that one says China. Yeah, I think most of these are newer, but I'm going to double check and make sure there aren't any like really great ones in here. But bubble lights are, you know, they started making these in the 40s. And if you find some really old ones, they're very, very uh, collectible and resellable for a great price. So I'm gonna just take a closer look, but I probably won't pick these up. Jane spotted these really cute Santa light covers. Aren't they adorable? Yeah, they look like something from like Hallmark in the 90s. Mm -hmm. Where's his little face? How cute. For $2.50, that's not too bad. But I just spotted, they just peeped out from behind this bag. I wasn't filming. Ah, oh, these are Napco, made in Japan for $4. They might be like late 60s. They have a very like 70s look to them, but they're so cute. Oh my God, I'm so excited. 
guys. I think there's another pair right here. Let's see. Oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness. In a different little outfit. Janine, two little sets of snowmen with different outfits on them. Oh my goodness. I wonder if there's a third. <laughs> Wow, they're just like, they were hidden, I swear. I looked these uh, shelves before and I didn't see any. I think I actually passed one of those. You know, when you look at them, you might think that they're a little bit newer because of the colors and stuff, but they are made in Japan. They might be from the late 60s. Hmm. I found this, um, it's from the 90s, Mighty Ducks hat. Oh, how cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna get that. How much is it? It's $4.99. I'm gonna keep it for myself, probably. Cute. It's, a, it's in great condition, too. Yeah. A little oxyclean, clean it up perfectly. Nice. Got some good things in this cart for a quick little trip to the thrift. Wasn't expecting this much. Wow. Oh my. Yeah, these are probably reproduction of old. Maybe not. I'm gonna get them and we'll look through them later. On okay. Camera. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Janine is like looking through the shelves. She's like, "What will we find?" Her hands are reaching. Like this. What are they reaching for? <laughs> this cute uh tablecloth it's newer and by newer i mean like 80s oh that is cute yeah this is an interesting job i like it they did do a good job um but yeah this is newer not as collectible but it's probably more collectible than this one because this one's poinsettias which is very common especially in the 80s and the 90s. All right, guys, we are back from the thrift store, but before we hop into the hauls, we did want to take a moment to let you know that we have listed some of our non-holiday, non-seasonal items on each of our Ebays. Janine and I have separate Ebay accounts. If you want to check them out, go into the description below of this video and follow the links through and you'll see guys like this listed. Also, for those of you who have been asking about our seasonal holiday items and if they are for sale, the answer is yes. We're thinking of doing a live sale sometime in November, which is totally new for us. We've never done a live sale and we're thinking about doing it on Instagram. Um, we'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and feedbacks about that, but that's sort of the plan for now and we'll definitely share more details as we have them. The first thing I found at the thrift store was this awesome bag of vintage satin, Christmas ornaments. These were really popular in the 70s. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these before or may have even grown up with them, but more common are the plain solid colors, the reds, the blues, the yellows, the greens. These are really different because they're striped. Mm -hmm. They remind me of uh, ribbon candy. I, I was said. just gonna say, you mentioned yeah. that at the store and I agree, they're really colorful and pretty and I got a whole bag for $2. Guys, I was so excited to find two bags of these little vintage snowmen. Those were so cute. I can't believe you found two of them. Unbelievable. I like spotted one and then like double checked and there was another bag. I'm going to open them up and show you guys. So each set of these snowmen was $4, which I think is a steal. Look how cute they are, guys. This one is a candle holder, which is really cool. And this one's just a figurine. I love their little faces. And if you flip them over, you can see that there is a Napco sticker. Wow. This guy does have a crack, but you don't really see it. And... These are made by Napco. They both have their original stickers. Napco Wear was a porcelain and ceramic manufacturer. And this sticker is one that you would commonly see. I believe it's from pieces that are a little bit newer, probably from the mid to late 60s all the way through to the late 70s. If you guys spot a silver sticker, sort of like this one, those are more older pieces from like probably the early 50s through to the mid 60s. So these are a little newer. But they're really but not cute. that new. Yeah. And they are so cute. I'll show you guys the other set. I thought this color combination was very interesting and I would have passed right by these at the thrift store because a lot of times you don't find yellow. I would have thought it was a paint your own. Yeah, definitely. The colors are pretty different and that's why I think they're a little bit newer. I think they're probably from the late 60s. The yellow, the bright blue is definitely different. And I love their little hats. <laughs> they're really cute. Yeah. I don't know what made me flip them over, but I just spotted them and I thought maybe they were vintage and they too have their Napco stickers on the bottom. Wow. Really cute and what a steal for only $4. You were just finding Christmas everywhere. I know. I was so excited to find these for $4. 
Here they are in the bag, but I'm gonna take them out and show you guys. Wait a second, Laura. I just wanna say something really quick. Um, sorry about the lighting on her face. Uh, the sun's going down right now, but uh, yeah, back to the salt and pepper triggers. Yeah, so I think it's, I've seen people try to repaint these themselves um, with on the red and it's really hard. It comes out patchy. I think you have to like strip the red and then paint it over entirely. So I wouldn't recommend trying that unless you're okay with potentially messing up. Um, but the eye I thought I could potentially fix. Um, mm. And I was thinking of doing it myself before reselling them. Or I don't know, maybe I'll sell them as is. If you guys have uh, a recommendation or what you would prefer if you were buying these, would you prefer them as is or retouched? Um, but anyway, these are definitely vintage salt and pepper shakers, Santa salt and pepper shakers. And they're just that classic vintage look. He's really cute. I like the winking one. And I think they'll clean up really nicely besides the little eye. But he was only $4 for the set, which I thought was a good steal. And even if you do buy this for like, I don't know, $10, you could display just the one. And I think that's still a great score. What'd you get, Janine? I got this cool Mighty Ducks hat. This was for the Mighty Ducks, I believe, the Hockey League, not specific to the movie even though the movie the mighty ducks spawned the hockey league i have no idea what you're talking so, about <laughs> if anyone followed that uh give this a like but i thought this was really fun this is made in the usa it's definitely from the 90s um hats typically aren't made in the usa anymore so that's a good indicator that it is an older piece um a vintage i guess you could say uh hat it's in really good condition too but it's probably like 30 years old so how much do you think this is worth on ebay and um, are you selling it i'm gonna keep this and it's probably worth about 15 dollars on ebay and i got it for 4.99 so um there is actually a little money to be made if i wanted to flip it you saw me pick these up in the store and i said i'm gonna buy them and then let's take a closer look at them and I think I'm pretty excited that I found them. I'm going to show you a little bit better right now. Okay, so here is a better look at these postcards and all the designs that I found. And when we were looking at them, we were trying to decide were these reproduction, were these actually vintage, and we came to the conclusion that these are reproductions. Um, and there's a few ways that we deciphered that or we came to that conclusion. Yeah, this one was a good indicator. If you take a close look, you can see that the graphics are actually cut off, the fonts cut off, which doesn't really make any sense. Um, that would definitely not have been like that on the original postcard. And I think maybe the better way to tell is that these all are just very flat looking, right Janine? Mm-hmm, they're flat. They also have a glossy finish to them. It might be hard in this lighting to see that, but it's not, something you would see on a vintage postcard as much yeah and these postcards some of them are from like the uh early early 1900s late 1800s they would have made a postcard like this and embossed it and added some gold foil and this really is just you know very flat looking so definitely reproductions but they're still really cool and pretty yeah they're real they actually have some really amazing artwork and i'm very happy to have found them and there's so many designs. That one is my favorite. I actually was watching the real uh, antique one on eBay a while ago, and I, I didn't win it. But I just love these. They have so much character, and they're so fun. And I will have some of these listed on my eBay that will be linked below if you want to buy one of these for Thanksgiving. I think they make really good decorative pieces. You can scrapbook with them, or you can put them up on your wall. Um, it's really nice. Reproduction pieces are a really nice way of designing and decorating with a vintage look, but on a better budget. So thanks for coming along with our thrifting adventure. Leave a comment below how you feel about having a live Instagram sale. We'd love to know your feedback on that. And thanks for joining us. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye.